All right, folks, you see this, Dunkin' Donuts, it's blueberry coffee, and I picked it up in Hopewell, that great community. And I've been talking a lot about Dunkin' Donuts lately, the reason being they're now in Calcutta, Ohio. They now have a new location on Hybrid Boulevard. And you know, I've been saying for a long time because of a friend many years ago, his name is Chibli. He was from India, he came to this country and seek the American dream and turned out to be a success through a lot of sweat equity. And he's a guy that I love, I haven't seen in a long time, but I just thought tonight, because if it's on your mind, you never know if you're gonna ever have a chance to do it. So I said, much love, one love, my brother. Thank you for all of the stuff that you've done with, for me through the years that you didn't even know about. Because because of our conversations decades ago, well, I think about you often. And not just when I get donuts, but I've often said, if that man can do what he did, I'm sure I can make it my way too. So thank you. And a cup of cheer from Dunkin' Donuts to my friend Chablis. I love you. All right, now here we go. Good Samaritan Parish Festival. It is Rose Caffarelli Fittipone, ladies and gentlemen. That's a mouthful. But Mary Louise, her husband, mother from Burgettstown, passed away recently, and I did not know. And I just wanted to talk about her a little bit before we talk about why you're here at the beautiful club at Shadow Lakes. Go Thank ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Well, um, my mother-in-law. Yeah. She was 92 years old. She was a wonderful woman, and she loved uh, Rob's show. So Burgettstown was having a issue with getting the broadcast into Burgettstown. I don't know if there's a dead spot. spot. Right. So they complained, they complained, and my husband said, well, you know what, Mom? We can solve this problem by getting an HD radio. So he bought an HD radio, and lo and behold, we got Rob Pratt's show down in Burgettstown. So then everyone else started calling, and my husband had to go get numerous HD radios for everyone else so they can get his show. Listen. So shame on KDK, but we just love our Rob Pratt. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> and we got the tower fixed. Thank you, KDK, for all of those wonderful things That's called right. paychecks. But more importantly, <laughs> never, never hurt the hand or bite the hand that feeds you. Oh, but Marcus I, sound less. I did want to take time to say to all of those wonderful Italian ladies who, of course, your mother-in-law's age and others, They've kept me working, folks, and a lot of it has to do because of my Italian friends. So, Jean Don, I salute all of you. And so sad, 93 or not, always tough to lose someone Absolutely. you love. Absolutely. Wonderful woman. All right, let's go. You're a wonderful woman, too. Oh, thank you. Sal Aloy is a wonderful guy. Yes, he so is. many others, including Tony Sinatra, who you're going to actually have with Tony Caffarelli. Folks, cooking? Are you kidding me? Why would you not want to go manja manja their world famous spaghetti dinner part of this festival? But the group Casanova, who I've seen many times, truly one of the best group of music musicians anywhere in this valley. They're going to be there. Jimmy Ross, Aliquip Bazone, the Jaggers, they'll be there. Last year, they just stormed the place. People could not wait and could not get enough could of them. Move. Move. We brought them in. I, you got an ethnic bake sale. You got big money raffles. You got Father Joe. You got Good Samaritan Parish Festival. And you got the best community, the city truly that was the melting pot that built Beaver County. Nationalities and immigrants from all over the world came there and went to work to help make this a better community, including our great Bishop David Zubik, who's from that community, the Pittsburgh Catholic Diocese. So let's talk about this festival. It's okay. big. It's big, it's big. Well, um, Thursday evening, we start off with Dancing Queen. You know, most festivals in the area have maybe just one headliner. What we do in Ambridge, we have a headline every evening. So we open up Thursday evening with Dancing Queen. I said to you earlier, remember our maybe Baden VIP? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was listening to Casey Dancing and the Queen. Sunshine Band coming up here. And Nick Trombetta, <laughs> you do remember when I was the man, don't you? All right, go ahead. So it's a disco night, Thursday night, but we start off our uh, evening with our famous, and I mean most famous, chicken, stuffed breast chicken dinner. It's to die for, and Tony and Mr. Sinatra will be working Thursday in that kitchen and helping Annette Hermico. We have a woman who slaves in our church. She's a wonderful lady. She's been working there for at least 40 years. She's in charge of all the meals that are prepared, homemade scratch in that church. So um, she got a liking to my brother Tony and Mr. Sinatra, so she hooked them up and they'll be cooking away Thursday. Friday, we have Casanova and our famous fish fry and pierogies and our homemade pierogies are award-winning. They won a prize many years ago. And um, Saturday, homemade stuffed cabbage and Sunday is the spaghetti dinner. But Saturday afternoon, we have the uh, Dick Taddy Orchestra. Big. And big, big, big. So if you'd like to polka, that's what we have Saturday afternoon. 
and we have a polka mass. So that is really interesting. I've been doing this festival for many years, and I think it was last year was the first time I ever peeked my head into church and got a glimpse of this polka mass. Big. It's big, it's big. People from all over come. In fact, I just had a friend who texted me last night from uh, Weirton, West Virginia, and he said, hey Rose, what's going on? How's the festival? We're coming up. And I went, great, that's wonderful. Cavaliers, Jack Hunt, my good friend, yeah, Pat McDonald, yeah, you know them from Atreus, he owns Atreus PNC Park. You know him as Johnny Angel on the Halos. We've talked many times about the history of doo-wop, groups like the Dell Viking and others in Pittsburgh. He will be there as well. GoodSam1.org, 724-266-4488. Look, $6,000, $3,000, $1,500 plus five $100 prizes. They give a lot to get a lot of love. And the reason I say a lot of love, because they need this. This is their biggest festival of the year. And we all know what places of faith are going through in these very difficult economic times. And I'm going to say it because they're probably too proud to say it. This church means so much to that community. This church means everything to a lot of folks that are of the Catholic diocese who travel from not just Ambridge, but from out the tri-state, places like Allegheny County, Beaver County, just to come to that church to hear Father Joe and his homilies. So please stop out and support it, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, one more little thing. Um, we have a few new to our festival this year, just our locals, our local people in our church choir we have and i think a lot of people know eugene eugene romano he yeah. goes around and sings so eugene's going to perform we have holly matthias and she's an irish folk singer she's going to perform and they're all parishioners an irish, folk, irish singer? folk singer yeah how about that well <laughs> that should be fun that could be and fun. we even have a young lady valentina powell she's a young girl she's in her early early 20s i think she's studying to be a doctor she's coming back to sing and perform so i'm glad that we are spotlighting our own parishioners along with um, all the other entertainment that we have. Listen, much mm -hmm. love to you. Thank you, but, but thank I mean you for that. taking no, the time. Listen, 22nd annual event. This lady, and she's not gonna say it, she's gonna blush. <laughs> she works so hard, so many people, they're working there as we speak tonight. Setting but up. But it really is, it's a labor of love. It is a labor of love, yes it is. And it's the best way to say goodbye to summer, but to open up your heart to a great event. And you got Dancing Queen Casanova, Dick Taddy. I don't know how you got him there again. That I guy's know. a rock star. I know. Jimmy Ross and the Jaggers. Jimmy Ross, when he sang with the Skyliners at Ciro's mm -hmm. Top of the Mall, people used to cry. Yeah. I mean, that's how good this guy is and still sounds great today and looks great. The Cavaliers will be there as well. It is Thursday, August 31st, 6 to 10. Friday, September the 1st, 6 to 11. Saturday, September 2nd, 2 to 11. Then Sunday, September 3rd, 1 until 10. Anything else? I just want to say this has actually turned into a Beaver County event. Yeah. It's no longer just the parish, the Ambridge Parish Festival. It is a Beaver County event, so come on out, Beaver County. Enjoy. We've got the entertainment. Come on out and visit us. You realize what you've started here. It's mm -hmm. kind of like mm -hmm. part two of the Santa Rock. Yeah, Festival. I know. I mean, this thing is really, <laughs> I, I mean, know. churches have festivals right. and get togethers and events of all denominations. And I love Ambridge, a melting pot. The best Samuel Jewish Center is there. Absolutely love it. Place I got my first radio job. But this has really become mm -hmm. major, like like big top stuff. It is. It is. And we have the dance floor, so don't forget about that beautiful dance floor. At that my age, at my age, don't forget about the meatballs. The it's meat the meatballs. Oh, it's all about the meatballs. It is. I'm telling you. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, I love this lady. Thank I, you. I love what they do. Good Samaritan Parish Festival. Stop by and manja manj with your familia. Ciao. Thank you.